Texas are hosting Texas. Jeff Samarja going against Derek Holland, who's been good since his return from injury. Here tonight, it's the Brewers and the Cardinals in game two of this three-game series. And once again with you on the call, here's Bob Uecker. All right, Joe, thank you very much. And this broadcast once again is authorized by the Milwaukee Brewers Baseball Club. Intended solely for the entertainment of our listening audience. Any rebroadcast or other use without the express written of the Milwaukee Brewers Baseball Club is prohibited. And Carlos Gomez is in there to lead things off against right-hander Adam Wainwright. And a reminder about our 5-5-5 five, five and five program. If the Brewers score five or more in tonight's game, you get five burgers for just five bucks at George Webb until midnight tomorrow. Adam Wainwright is ready. Here is his opening pitch in game two, and it's a strike, and we are underway. Wainwright trying to win his 19th of the year. Here's the pitch, a swing and a miss by Carlos. Two strikes and nothing. Scooter Jeanette will follow and then Jonathan Lucroy. And here comes Wainwright. Down low and away with a bender that time. Ball one and strike two. Wainwright at 18 and nine. He carries an earned run average of 2.56. Molina sets the target and here it is. Gomez a swing and a miss. And he struck him out. A little cutter down low and away. Strikeout number one for Wainwright. Number 165 on the year. He has worked 211 plus innings. Given up 174 base hits. Only 10 home runs given up by Wainwright. 47 walks and 165 strikeouts. Left-handed batting, Scooter Jeanette. Here's the pitch to him. That is a strike and it's 0-1. Manny Gonzalez is calling the balls and strikes tonight. Jim Reynolds at first. Field and Cole Brienth is out at second. And Brian Knight makes the calls at third. And the pitch to Scooter Jeanette. Swing and a miss. May have foul tipped it. Molina hangs on. It's two strikes and nothing. Last time out for Wainwright against the crew. He beat him back on the seventh at Butter Park. Complete game win. Now the wind up and here it is. Jeanette struck out. That one popping away from Molina, but he picks it up and throws out Jeanette. And back-to-back -back strikeouts now for Wainwright. And here is Jonathan Lucroy. Lucroy at 303 among the leaders in batting, leads in doubles with 51. And the pitch. It is a ball outside, one and nothing. Lucroy among the leaders in hits with 165, the pitch. There's a strike from Wainwright, even now at one and one. Brewers will have their hands full with Wainwright tonight. Beaten the Brewers 11 times in his career. They've beaten him seven. The pitch is a strike again. There's that big breaking ball from Wainwright. He's got a heck of a changeup. Very good curveball. And throws in the mid-90s. 
One ball and two strikes. 31st start of the year for him tonight. Down low and away, and that one dug up by Molina. It's ball two and strike two with two down. Fourth time out against the crew this year. Two-two pitch coming. Draws the arm back. Here it is. It drops low and it's full now. Three and two. Full count on Jonathan Lucroy. Wainwright set to work. Now, Luke Roy is stepping out. Clayton Kershaw of the Dodgers tops that wins column with 19. Madison Baumgartner in there. Johnny Cueto, then Wainwright. The pitch, Luke Roy took inside, and he walked him. Two-out walk to Luke Roy. Brewers get the first runner in tonight's game, and here comes Aramis Ramirez. 48th walk given up by Wainwright on the season. Kershaw tops the Nationals in earned run average at 1.70. Wins with 19. Two outs the pitch. Ramirez took a strike right down the middle. One strike, one on with two outs. Now the stretch here it is. It's in there on the outside quarter. Two strikes on Ramirez. Kershaw tops everybody in the earned run average department. Wins with 19, tops both leagues. Two strikes, two outs. Ready to work, and here he comes. Ramirez sends a bouncer to third, and an easy play for Carpenter, and the inning is over. Brewers get a runner with two down. Ramirez bounces to third to end the top half of inning number one. Brewers strand one, and at the end of one half inning of play, it is Milwaukee nothing and St. Louis coming up. It's time for the first WBEV WXRO Pack Attack Party of the season. Join us Sunday, September 28th at Tower Lanes in Beaver Dam. Admission is free and you can register to win amazing prizes. Watch Green Bay take on arch rival Chicago. Register for the best seat in the house and play football bingo brought to you by Verizon Wireless Zone of Beaver Dam for a chance at winning an ellipsis tablet. Don't miss the Beaver Dam Piggly Wiggly Pack Attack Cook-Off. The featured ingredient is beer and first prize is a $100 Piggly Wiggly gift card. Plus, get a free light lunch. Brought to you by Ponderosa Steakhouse, Beaver Dam Piggly Wiggly, Badgerland Bedding and Furniture, Schultz's Cheese House, and Verizon Wireless Zone of Beaver Dam. Visit WBEVradio.com or WXROradio.com for more information. It's the first WBEV WXRO Pack Attack Party of the season, Sunday, September 28th at Tower Lanes in Beaver Dam. Registration begins at 11 a.m. and kickoff is at noon. Go Pack! Need insurance protection for your home, car, or business? Richards Insurance at 125 South Ludington Street in Columbus will help you find the right policy for your needs from the right company and at the right price. As independent insurance agents, Richards can offer you many excellent companies and tailor your insurance to fit your individual needs. Call or stop and see Tom Christensen, Dennis Buckta, or Jerry Casper at Richards Insurance, 125 South Ludington Street, Columbus. 
Introducing America's Import, the completely redesigned 2015 Chrysler 200 with $2,000 cash back only at Reed Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram and Beaver Dam. For you, look to Catholic Financial Life, Catholic Values in Action. Right-hander Mike Fires is on to work for the crew tonight. And Matt Carpenter will lead things off for St. Louis. John Jay follows, and then Matt Holliday. Cardinals leading Pittsburgh by two and a half, four over the crew. How about that Dodger Giant race over there, Joe? Boy, the Dodgers took one today, didn't they? Colorado? That's a house of horrors, isn't it? 15 <laughs> runs. Wow. And a lead down to two. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Man. Good races. All right, Mike Fires. Again's Matt Carpenter, and he opens up with a fastball strike, and it's 0-1. Fires making his eighth start, 12th appearance of the year. Last started last Thursday against Miami in that 4-2 win. Here's the one-strike offering on Matt Carpenter. It's a little low, and it's even now at one ball and one strike. Carpenter had a couple of hits last night. Two out of five. Here's the 1-1 one -one from Mike Fires. Big swing and a foul popping away from Jonathan LeCroy. Ball one in strike two now. Fires lifetime against St. Louis. 2-0. That covers three starts. Beat the Cardinals in that series at Miller Park. Back on September the 5th. Fouled back by Carpenter. In that outing against St. Louis, he worked six and two-thirds. Allowed seven hits, two runs earned, walk one, struck out five. In picking up the win. One ball, two strikes on Matt Carpenter. Here's the one up and the pitch. Swinging a drive into left center. Gomez back and hauls that one down. Carpenter's retired. One away, and here comes John Jay. Jay batting 309 with three home runs and 40 driven in. Three out of seven against Mike Fires. Takes one to low. Ball one. One ball and no strikes. And the pitch. Jay sends that one foul to the third deck. One ball and one strike on the Cardinals right fielder. Matt Holliday to follow. Season series, Cardinals lead 10-7. And the pitch. Line to foul again. A little extra that time from Mike Fires. Good sinker on the outside corner. Ball one and strike two. Lucroy sets a new sign. Now the wind-up and the pitch. It is in there. Strike three looking and John Jay is gone. Strikeout number 60 for Mike Fires. 
in 57 plus innings of work. And here is Matt Holliday. Holiday was one out of five in last night's game. And the pitch by fires drops down low and away, and it's 4 1. His throw last night on that fly ball hit by Mac Clark. Half swing, I think he went. He did. Was too late to get the sliding Hector Gomez. Tied the game. One ball and one strike. Now Fires draws it back. Here it is. And he's down low and inside. Two balls and a strike. Joe Block and I have talked a couple of times over the last month or so about those September call-ups and how important could they be in certain games and in a different series. And it's happened for the crew with Hector Gomez, Matt Clark, Clark with three home runs since joining the club. Here's the 2-1 delivery, and it's hit on a short hop to Scooter Janan. He'll play it nicely and throw out Holiday, and the inning is over. Fires works 1-2-3, and at the end of one complete, it is still the Brewers nothing, and the Cardinals nothing. We're Fabco. And as the Caterpillar dealer for Wisconsin and Upper Michigan, we serve the hardworking, hands-on, let's-get-it-done people that improve the quality of life in your community. From CAD machines that help maintain our infrastructure and support our farmers, to aerial lay cycling equipment and emergency power generation, Fabco supplies essential products that help our customers make progress possible. If you've got work to do, you need to know us. With another exciting Brewers promotion, Waste Management and the Milwaukee Brewers ask you to do your part and recycle at Miller Park. Whether tailgating before a Brewers game or watching the action, be sure to look for the Waste Management recycling bins inside and outside the ballpark. Think green, think Waste Management. Stay tuned for other odds-on favorites. Brewers Baseball, presented by Potawatomi. Baseball tonight, as per usual, being brought to you in part by Miller Lite, now back in its original can, it's Miller time. Ryan Braun will lead things off in the Brewers' second against Adam Wainwright. Seven or more runs in any inning for the crew is a Menard's beginning that would make Mike the Philip from North Prairie, the winner of a $1,000 Menards gift card. Visit any Wisconsin Menards store to enter. Hope I got that right, Mike. Mike La Philippe. Ryan Braun in there and Adam Wainwright. Wheels and deals, low and away, ball one. Yeah, the Dodgers getting whipped today, 16-2. Giants win 4-2 at Arizona. One ball and no strikes. And a pitch. Braun sends a bullet to left field, a base hit. Lead on man aboard. One on for the crew. Here comes Gerardo Parra with a home run. Two out of four night in last night's win. Ninth home run for Parra. 40 driven in. Batting 269. One on and nobody out. Outfield shading Para to hit to left. Carpenter up tight at third for the Brewers. 
left fielder and that one is in there strike one call in talking about the uh, the series coming down as we move to the end of the year championship season that is Brewers will have the Cubs at Miller Park finish up this road trip in Cincinnati the Cardinals will play in Arizona swinging a bouncer Descalso, Peralta, and Adams. And there are two down, just that quick. Four, six, three. Double play number 138 for St. Louis. Here's Lyle Overbay. Yeah, the Cardinals will play in Arizona to wind things up. The Giants will play at Dodger Stadium. You don't think that's going to be a big one? Joe, you've been there for those. Oh, yeah. <laughs> man, oh, man. That'll be every seat filled, and there'll be uh, tens <laughs> of thousands of Giants fans making the trip yep, down. They sure do. And, of course, depending, outside a ball missing on Lyle Overbay. Depending on where they are coming down to that uh, final series at Dodger Stadium... Here's the pitch. Who do the Dodgers wind up against, Ken? There's a bouncer hit to Adams with Wainwright covering. We'll check that out. Overbay finishes up the inning with an easy ground out. Brewers get nothing on a hit, leave nobody, and we'll be back. Inning and a half complete. Still nothing enough. Mr. Baseball, Bob Euchre and his pal, Tony. Everyone knows that you love eating using your sausage, Bob. But how are you at cooking it? I'm a natural, Tony. Low and slow, baby. That's all you need to remember. Just like my baseball career. Go slow and keep the heat low. Frequent turning helps, too. Kind of like changing teeth. Wow. You do have a lot in common. I told you, man. We're like brats in a bun. A perfect fit. Amazing. And we both kind of like summer in baseball, too. <laughs> I'm Phil, saving you tons of money on cleaning stuff. The Works Toilet Bowl Cleaner, 32 ounces for a buck 29. And 200 count Zippy Wipes, just 4.99. Incredible, it's like half price. 200 wipes for 4.99 and a buck 29 for toilet bowl cleaner. Incredible, it's like half price. And saving, it's good Meet Elaine. Hello there. Elaine now buys her tooling and supplies from Engman Taylor. She used to buy from the National Catalog Houses. See, Elaine needed a tool she couldn't find in the catalog, so she called Engman Taylor. Echo sourced the right tool and solved Elaine's problem. That made Elaine very happy. Uh-huh. Now Elaine only buys from Echo. Same great products plus technical support and exceptional customer service, all at competitive prices. That makes Elaine and her boss very happy. So when you're ready to place that next order, call Engman Taylor, 800-236-1975, and save some money just like Elaine. things off for St. Louis. Potawatomi Hotel and Casino pays big 21 contestant. Robin Grochowski from Cudahy. Chance to win $5,000 from Potawatomi Hotel and Casino. Firekeepers Club members double up. 10 grand. Here comes Mike Fires and he's got a strike on Matt Adams. Get complete details at wisports.com. We're talking about that Dodger Giants series at Dodger Stadium. And uh, they wind up the uh, championship season. Curve in there and it's 0-2. Yeah, they wind up the season against Colorado. Who beat the Dodgers brains out today. 16-2. Here's the wind up and the pitch by fires. And Adam sends it foul. Tried to sneak a fastball by him. Still 0-2 on the St. Louis first baseman. Adams collared last night. He was nothing for four. Peralta follows and then Yadier Molina. 
Brewers snapping that 13 game home winning streak for the Cardinals last night swinging a smash in the shallow right there's a diving grab by Scooter Giovanni he writes himself and throws him out he was playing about uh, ah, 20 feet maybe further than that into the outfield grass for Matt Adams and he hit it hard what would have been a hey, yeah, easy base hit if, if they're playing Adams the way they normally play everybody else that's a base hit but uh, they play him pull they play him in shallow right field and they throw him out here's Johnny Peralta Brewers get the Cubs at Miller Park Pirates tonight hosting Boston again. And the pitch. Peralta sends it to right center. Carlos Gomez looks like he's in the area. He is. And there are two down now. Here's Yadier Molina, the catcher. Yeah, the Pirates are leading in the fifth inning. Red Sox batting 5 nothing Pirates. Now the Red Sox have just picked up a run. It is five to one Pirates. Joe, I heard you talking earlier. Neil Walker got another home run. Twenty one for Walker. Now. Wow, what a year that guy's having. Mm. Two men around. Here comes Mike Fires, and he missed off the inside corner, and it's ball one. You know, the other guy has been playing good, too, for the Pirates, Joe, and, and has really come on as we've moved down through this last month, month and a half of the season. That Jordy Mercer been yeah. playing good at shortstop. Yeah, he's, uh, he's out tonight, uh, bang, banged up a little bit, but he has really come on offensively. Uh, they used to go with Clint Barmas yeah. for the offense, and now uh, it's been Mercer who's been able to pick up the bat. 2-0 pitch, swinging a bullet, hit to Scooter to that. There's another nice pick. He turns and throws out Molina, and the inning is over. Mike Fires has retired six in order, and at the end of two complete, it's still nothing, nothing. Wow, it's been such a mild summer. We barely even used our air conditioner. It's been great for the electric bill. We haven't either, but remember last summer? I heard there were over 30 days that were hotter than 80 degrees in August and September. That's a good point. It's always still warm when the kids go back to school. I think I'm going to call Surefire, have them come out and take a look at my air conditioner. This is Tom Schwartz from Surefire. I've been hearing people say, we don't need a new age. Summer's almost over. Well, if last year's any example of what to expect, there's plenty of heat yet to come. But luckily, there are still... Well, the third is coming up. It's still a nothing, nothing game in this big series for both clubs, for that matter. Brewers winning last night's opener. And tonight, Mike Fires trying to make it two in a row. And up against Adam Wainwright. Anyway, the third is on, and stepping in to call it for you now, here's Joe Block. Well, thanks, Duke, and uh, you're darn right. It's... It's big for both teams. Not just the Brewers trying to play catch up and trying to make their way back into a playoff spot, but the Cardinals, I mean, you know, the Pirates are winning tonight. Cardinals lead if the Brewers win tonight is three over the Brewers. And if Pittsburgh wins it, a game and a half over the Pirates. Cardinals aren't cruising by any means. Here's the first one from Wainwright. Gene Segura hits it on the ground a second. Descalso has it and throws on first one pitch one out now Mike Fires coming up Gomez to follow it is tight we were talking about the uh, NL West Central is tight the East is decided Washington has uh, taken that and in the American League Baltimore has clinched the division the Angels have clinched a playoff spot and are close to securing the division but the Central over in the American League still contested with Detroit and Kansas City a game and a half apart. The pitch, and there's a strike. Well, Kansas City uh, really has another loss hanging over their heads when they complete a game with Cleveland that they're trailing in. Here's the 0-1, and there's a strike. Nothing in two to Fires. Wainwright's not messing around tonight. 25 pitches, got seven outs already. 
Over the head to the belt. 0-2. Oh, Curveball, wave and a miss. One, two, three strikes. You're out at the old ball game. Two gone and back to the top for Carlos Gomez. Same thing with Mike Fires. He's at 21 pitches through the first two innings. Now well, that's this time of year. Playoff style baseball. Good pitching. And a few timely hits for the victorious team. And that's usually uh, what equals success. Carpenter in at third, a step ahead of the bag, guarding the line for the right handed batting Gomez. The pitch down and away, ball one. Sinker misses at 91 from Wainwright. 